doing a lot of research and just like, what do I need to do? And so then the following, like after the holiday, I believe it was like the Tuesday, I went into the, like kind of marched in there. I was like, hey, like I need to see a doctor right now because I think that I have breast cancer and I need to know what needs to happen now. And so we did a mammogram and it didn't show anything. So then they did a ultrasound and it showed it. So then they did a biopsy and sure enough, I was diagnosed with cancer like two weeks later started the surgery process, chemo and everything. But then when I was, I moved here to Washington to go through chemo at Madigan and the doctor was like, you know, you were your own advocate. You wouldn't have even gone in for any kind of mammograms or anything until you were 40 years old. So you saved your own life. Like you would still be, this thing would still be growing inside of you. And so now I feel like I, I want to try to help people like advocate for themselves because you know while they may be doctors they don't know everything and you know your body best why is this happening to me oh my god you know i'm gonna die and oh all that i never had that attitude i may have had it for a second but after that it was i couldn't live there because i had to live for my granddaughter she's my first first grandchild and i wanted to see her grow up and i knew that if I got in that pity pot, I wouldn't see her grow up. So I didn't stay there very long. And I just got up and said, let's do it. Let's get it over with, because I'm done. <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> Working in the community wellness programs, um, I've seen um, folks that have had different varieties, lung cancer, colon cancer, um, stomach cancer, blood cancers, you know, uh, breast cancer. So um, I know it's here and, you know, people don't really like to talk about it, but it's uh, important for them to know that it is here and that we do need to talk about it, encourage folks to get screening. So it is preventable if, you know, you do your routine screenings early detection, early detection, I feel like the education aspect of it and the screening just to get people in there to get tested so that they can have a better chance at survival.